and as far as I know it should reset now yep there it goes and we should be able to continue our setup where we left off go back to English Canada join Xbox Live or rather yeah, join Xbox Live Yes, to exit the current session. And there we go. Now it's going into Xbox Live. And you've got all, everything you need to get started. It's very easy to set up. It's got all the instructions you need. So all you have to do is continue. You go and type in a gamer tag. We're going to call it. Uh, CBB test right now for comic book bin test. Alright, and go over to done. And it's going to check the availability for that gamer tag. There we go. And I already have a Windows Live ID set up for this, so all I have to do is say yes, I have one. Go to the email address. Done. Enter my password. <laughs> Maybe we'll blur this out or something. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this isn't actually a real email address anyway. Hmm. And that should be it. Go over to done. Sign in. And there we go. Let's select the language. Obviously it's going to be English because we already chose that. Date of birth. Mike? No. <laughs> I went backwards. <laughs> Let's set that up again. Instead of going to the right, I accidentally selected select already. I didn't think you were 10. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Go in, continue. We have all the information set up there already. Ah, that's a phone number. Go over to done. And now that it's got the phone number, it's all set to go. Does it need the phone number? Yes, actually it does. Oh. And then afterwards it's going to bring up the privacy statement for Xbox Live. You can scroll through that. Or go straight to accept. 
I do actually suggest reading that, but still. And in this case, I'm going to say don't save the password because, well, I don't want just want somebody to come online uh, without, you know, without my permission. And I'm going to select a silver membership right now. And I'm going to continue. There we go. And you have to set up all of this extra stuff, like address, other information. It also gives you an easier way to uh, use the keypad by using the buttons themselves uh, to control different functions like accents, uh, where the cursor is going, uh, caps lock, and obviously going straight on to finish. But it doesn't take that long to set up, and that's the nice thing about it. It's very easy. And we'll select a gamer tag picture. We'll pick the dragon here. And we're going to say it's for, well, you have a few different choices of what you can set up for your uh, gamer tag. You can choose if you want to have uh, just a recreational experience, you can do recreation. If you want to really compete against professional or hardcore gamers, you can go against, uh, go in pro. Just regular family gaming, family, and underground, well, it's pretty much like pro, but a little bit different. And it'll select people to play against based on that also. We're going to go with recreation, though. And I'm going to say, I don't really want emails to that email address. And I don't want to share third part uh, with third parties. And it should already be set to the right yeah, it was, time um, zone, but I was just going to check that. Daylight savings on for now. And it's going to start setting it up, creating that Xbox Live membership. Alright. And if we want, we can even set up Messenger, but we're going to skip that for now. And there we go. And it's all set up now. Now, there are a few different things you can set up after this. You've got family settings. We're not going to show that right now. It's very, very easy to set up. It doesn't take that long either. You've got high definition settings. But right now, since we don't have the high definition cables hooked up, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go straight to exit setup. And it's going to finish its setup. And that's it. The Xbox 360 is now ready to use. If you ever want to go back into the setup menu, or even start right back from the initial settings again, all you have to go is to all you have to do is go to the Systems tab by going right or left. You've got the Marketplace, Xbox Live, Games, Media, and of course System. You've got Console settings, Family settings, the memory, which includes both the memory and any memory cards you use. So hard drive and memory, network settings for your router, wireless, whatever, computers on the network. If you have a Windows Media Center PC, you can also set up uh, to connect with media from your PC. Xbox Live Vision, which includes the vision camera. We don't have one of those right now. And of course, like I said, initial setup, which can take you right back to the beginning again. If you have any console settings like display, which is high definition, audio, language, uh, the remote control if you have one, anything else, you go into there. And we're actually going to do that next. We're going to start by shutting off the system though.